All right, this is DJ Rim from Rock Addict Radio, and I have Stefan Forte on the line. Dude, you shred. I love your Thanks. stuff. <laughs> Thanks a lot, buddy. <laughs> so um, what's going on with you right now? What's, uh, what's the plans? So, um, well, right now, the, the, the album has just been released in the U.S. I think it was like uh, one month ago now. And um, so, yeah, I'm still doing the promo uh, for the U.S., for the Europe and uh, Japan. It's uh, it's done already. So, um, yeah, right now I'm doing the promo for, um, for the U.S. release. And, uh, yeah, I'm actually um, preparing to, um, to uh, play the shows, the upcoming shows for the solo album um, with my band. So I'm rehearsing and practicing a lot right now. And uh, in the meantime, I'm finishing the new Adagio album. Um, so, yeah. That's about it. Yeah. Who are uh, who? The, who are the other members in your band, and what are their uh, spots? Uh, in the solo stuff, there are Frank on the bass from Adagio and Kevin also from Adagio on the keyboards, uh, and then on the drums, um, this is a guy called uh, Morgan. He's playing in a band called Mirath, uh, which is a progressive band from uh, Tunisia, and he's a great guy, great drummer. So um, yeah, basically this is the the lineup for the for the solo stuff. And uh, how long have you been doing this as a solo thing? Um, actually, it's pretty new. Um, it's been a long time since um, I wanted to do it. Um, but I've been pretty busy with Adagio, uh, composing for the band and everything. So um, let's say, yeah, I'm just starting right now to get focused on this. So um, let's say one year. Very cool. Thanks for sharing that. What... um. What was the creative? What what was like the creative spark that that made you decide to to do this and you know and, and to move forward? Well, um, when I first started um, playing the guitar, I was really into uh, all the shrapnel kind of guys and really into shred and neoclassical stuff. So I've always been into instrumental stuff because I've been a huge fan of Jason Baker, Molly Friedman, so cacophony and uh, mom's team and stuff like this. So in the beginning, I was really into uh, instrumental stuff. Then um, a label contacted me because they liked my first instrumental demo and asked me if I was interested in doing a band with some vocals, so I did. And since Adagio started in 2001, um, I had to focus on this, so I didn't have time to uh, to move forward with my solo career. So um, let's say, yeah, it's been forever <laughs> since <laughs> I wanted to do that so yeah very cool and then so how how often you know with you and the guys the, the guys that are in your band for this how often do you guys get together and practice well for the solo stuff uh, we haven't practiced yet um, but in general what we do for a Daggio or for this or whatever we are working on is just um, we are all working on our individual parts um, at home uh, learning everything just being sure of all the parts and everything, and then we go to the rehearsal, but we already know all the parts, and we just play the, the, the song straight. So um, for this, we haven't uh, rehearsed yet, uh, but we will start like in May, before the first show in Paris. Okay, very cool. So what kind of um, kind of sacrifices have you had to make to, uh, to make all this happen and, and keep going with this? Actually, no sacrifices, because in the beginning it was just uh, something I wanted to do uh, for myself. Um, I, I just wanted to, to release an album to express myself without thinking about sales and marketing and stuff like this. So it was just uh, something with, without any limits. Uh, I just wanted to do uh, my album. And, um, and so, yeah, there was no compromise at all, at least musically. Uh, and, yeah, then uh, I'm pretty surprised that... Uh, the, the, the fans and, and press are already um, enjoying it, so uh, that's pretty cool. But yeah, no compromises at all, no, no sacrifices. That's awesome. Where, yeah. uh, where do you get your musical talent from? My, sorry? Where do you get your musical talent from? Is it like somebody in your family, or are you just kinda, is it just kind of you? Um, my brother played the guitar, and uh, he offered me my first guitar when I was five. And... Um, I immediately fell in love with uh, Angus Young and ACDC. I wanted just to be the same when I grow up. So um, I've been listening to that, and since I'm five, I really want to do that. Um, so yeah, let's say it's my brother 
and then uh, I practiced a lot and I had many teachers and like stud I I've studied a lot of uh, music and stuff so um, yeah it's it, it started from my brother and then uh, I did the stuff myself. Okay, very cool. And where can people if um if people are going to want to buy this where will they be able to buy it? Where can they buy it at? Well, normally they are able to buy it in stores, but the problem is right now, um, it, since the market is really uh, difficult, especially for metal and even more for instrumental music, right. I, I'm really not sure um, the, the CD is uh, easy to find in stores in the US. So best way is to go on my website and order it uh, from there. So the website is um, stephenforte.org. Okay, and then are you on like other social networking sites too, where people can can find out more about you? Yeah, sure. Uh, my, my Facebook, um, which is uh, facebook.com/slash Stephen Forte, um, is my main one, and uh, people can just come and replying to everybody uh, every day and uh, replying to the questions and uh, just saying hello if uh, they are sending me nice messages and everything. So yeah, they they they. Sh they are very welcome to uh, to subscribe and uh, say hello. Okay, so one of the things that, uh, other than the fact that I think you shred, it, the album, I mean, the, the album just sounds really good. Where did you record at? Uh, first, thank you very much. <laughs> and um, I've recorded that at Kevin's studio, the, the keyboard player got his own studio, and uh, he's the one who recorded and mixed uh, the latest Tadaji album, uh, Archangels in Black. And so, yeah, I just... We just recorded that uh, there. Some parts in my home studio, uh, most of the guitar solos and stuff, and all the other stuff uh, has been recorded at, at uh, his place. Very cool. And where, what, um, what kind of music did you did you grow up listening to? I mean, what got you into metal? What made you want to to do this? Well, first ACDC. Uh, so when I was five, Alice Cooper, um, Judas Priest, Metallica. And so, yeah, that was the first bands I was really into when I was, let's say, between 5 and 10. Then, when I turned 14, uh, I discovered Malmsteen, and uh, it has been a big revelation for me. That's where I, uh, that's the point where I decided I wanted to do that, and uh, to mix classical elements and virtuosity and with a guitar and stuff. So, um, yeah, let's say the first influences were there. Uh, Maiden, ACDC, Metallica, and then Lamsteen, Cacophony, and all that kind of stuff. Cool. So then if I was to grab like your, your iPod or your MP3 player from you right now, what would I find you listening to today? Oh, right now many things, um, but not really metal. I mean, some metal, of course. Um, some Meshuga stuff. Um, the new Jeff Loomis album, which I really like. Um, Sting. Um, Sacred Love album, um, Party Shed. Uh, what else? Bella Bartok, some classical music. And, um, yeah, I think that's pretty much what I'm listening to at the moment. Very cool. And um, so, with with this whole project you have going, what um, what are you looking for? For you know, how will you define success? How will you say, you know what, this is this has worked out the way I want it to? Mm. Well, to, to leave sex, drugs, and rock and roll just like Motley Crue in the 80s. <laughs> um, no, I don't know. It would be to, um, I don't know, first to, to make good income with it, with my own music. Because right now I'm making some income with it, but it's it's more like with my instrument rather than with my composition, with my music, with my writing. So uh, I'd say first that would be cool to um, make good income from that. Very good income, I mean. And then, yeah, to play... To, to play very big stages and stadiums and stuff, that would be a nice uh, definition of success. Yeah. Very cool. I uh, and I wish you the best of luck with that. Who, Thank you very much. You know, say a big, is is there any one band that you just would that you dream that you would just love to get to play with? That's out there. You mean uh, as a player or um, opening for them? Yeah, I'd like just yeah, just, just another band that you'd love to share the stage with. Ozzy. Yeah, that would be pretty awesome. I, yeah, that would be indeed really awesome. Yeah, I'm a huge fan of Ozzy, so yeah, that would definitely make my day. That's for sure. Okay, and so, so yeah, and, and of course all the other bands, like mean, all the big stadium bands like Metallica, and yeah, 
any big bands that would be great. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, are you going to? Did you have? Were you in? A, did you have a band before you were doing solo? I mean, oh well, Adagio, which is my main band. Um, but apart from that, we just recorded like five albums together, and uh, since two thousand and one. And apart from that, not really, because uh, I just did that for like 10 years and I'm still doing it. So, uh, yeah, it's just Adagio and my solo band. All right, very cool. Would it be possible for you to send me a couple tracks from that stuff? Sure, of course. Of course. That's I would all. love to hear the other, you know, I'd love to hear the the other stuff too. Okay, I will. <laughs> That'd be very cool. Thanks. Welcome. So, um, what's the craziest thing that's ever happened to you at a show before? Oh, um, what can I say on the radio? Um, um, well, some girls sometimes are really crazy, um, and sometimes, yeah, let's say it happened that sometimes just before one show, just before getting on stage, um, you know, um, yeah, um, she just proposed to um, to be nice, let's say. <laughs> so let's say like uh, ten minutes before getting on stage um, at a BJ, a BJ before getting on stage, yeah. that might be one of the cool things I can remember right now. That's cool. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, anything else? What else do you want to tell the world uh, about this your solo gig you have going on? What, uh, you know, what do you want the world to know, and what do you want people to take away from this? Uh, that. It, it has been something very really personal. I think I've never been that personal in any city. Uh, I, I just wanted to express express myself with notes rather than with words. Um, so it's really uh, the reflection of myself. So I could say it's a very sincere album, something really um, that means a lot to me. And um, uh, yeah, I don't know. Um, it's about the music. If people don't know what I'm doing, it's it's a mix of really melodic stuff, virtuosity and progressive metal and uh, Eastern kind of traditional music and some Oriental stuff, but mostly based on the guitar, of course. Um, but I'm trying to put a lot of sensibility in it. So, uh, yeah, I, I think it's a good resume of the album. Okay, very cool. So... What do you do to relax when you're not <laughs> doing all this music stuff? Do you have you got any hobbies or anything that you like to do just to chill? Yeah, um, when I'm done with my day, uh, working all day, uh, at the end of the like at like midnight, around midnight or one a.m., I'm just playing in front of the PS3 of the, the PS3 and playing Modern Warfare 3. <laughs> nice. Yeah, and um, yeah, mostly that, but not 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 every day because it all depends on the uh, on the day I had, I have the next day. Uh, what time I have to wake up and what I have to do. But uh, yeah, well, when I want to chill out, I'm doing this or partying with my friends and really wasted. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. That's awesome. Okay, I got. I, I'm out of questions for you, man. I got one last okay. thing to ask you, though. Yep. Will you make a couple of uh, radio tags for me? Okay. Uh, the first one, if you can say this is. Stefan Forte, and you're listening to rockaddictradio.com. Okay. Hey, this is Stefan Forte from the Benadagio, and you're listening to rockaddict.com. Okay, and then the second one, if you can say the same thing, but say that you're listening to DJ Rem at Rock Addict Radio. DJ Rem? Yep. Okay. Hi, this is Stefan Foley, and you're listening to DJ Rain at Rock Addict Radio. Very cool, man. I uh, thanks for uh, thanks for taking the time. I know you're, you're welcome. I know you're busy and moving and all that stuff, so I, I really <laughs> appreciate you uh, taking a few minutes to talk to me. It was a pleasure, no problem. Uh, I'm actually I actually have a show tonight uh, on the radio station. I'll be playing a bunch of your tracks. So. Oh, cool. Thank you very much. I'll, cool. I'll help continue to spread the word. And then I'll also get this um, this interview, I'll get it uploaded to YouTube, too, and I'll send you a link once I have that done. Okay, cool. I will promote it in the Facebook then. Yep. 